Hello, this is Selena of Rain City Creativity, and today I'm going to show you an updated version of the paper bag card. So, the I fiddled with the paper bag card because the challenge I had was with the regular um, lunch bags. I didn't really like the quality of them, and the challenge too was finding an envelope for them to fit in. So. This is a five and a half by five and a half envelope. Um, I found mine at Hobby Lobby. Stampin' Up used to sell them, but they're more standard size. And what's nice is these fit right inside. And great for mailing. So the one I'm going to show you is not a Christmas one. This is what I made for Christmas. It opens up. You have a flap in here here, here, and it turns over. Now, what's interesting is with this one here, it was not Christmas paper. This was from a Die Cuts with a View, the Nantuck, Nantucket Stack. Hold on, let me grab it. It looks like that. I don't know if you can still get it, but I got that one at Joann's, something like $4. It was just a great deal. So the one I'm going to use is, uh, now the envelopes I should tell you, not envelopes, the little bags I should tell you are from Recollections, They're from Michaels. Celebrated brand, these are the large size. Four and five eighths inch by 7 8 inch, by 8 and, what does that say, 5 8 inch, or the number 3 size. This is the black, I only have one left of the burgundy, uh, but these are really nice quality bags. So, let's get started. First thing is, with your bag, you're going to fold it at 5 and an eighths inch. Oh no, before you do that, it's got this little jagged end. I'm gonna trim that little part off. And I just use uh, my small guillotine cutter to take that off. And now I'm going to fold this over and do it at the five and one eighths. Now, just to make my life easier, instead of measuring it, I'm just going to go like this. It's right about here. I'm folding it like that. I don't suggest... Oh, let's see. It's a little bit off, but that's okay. Straighten it up. I don't suggest using a, a bone folder or a... Um, uh, the, um, the your scoring board because it's delicate and it's not black the whole way through or burgundy the whole way through. So what I found is if you use a scoreboard and a um, the the bone folder, it'll it'll just it, it's wrecked into there. So don't do that. Okay, so this is the back, this is now the front. Now, with the front, what you're going to do is you are going to, your base page here, the, this, this part here, that is four and seven eighths by four and a half. And I've already, I'm making a birthday card. And then, this part is four and three eighths by seven by three and seven eighths. And you can do anything on the front. This is just, I stamped it, and that's just gonna fit on the front. The other alternative I was gonna do, if I, I was still gonna do another um, winter card, was that. This is Stampin' Up set. Um, I think that one is too. This is a Stampin' Up set gold. Live your dream. So I'm just going to plug that on there. Okay, did 
that not work? There we go. Okay, and now this is just a little bit off. There. Now it's a little bit straighter. There. Okay. Now, the inside, there is this little flap here, and that is the background paper, two and a half by four and a half. Oh, I should tell you what paper I'm using. This one was from my Hobby Lobby haul that you'd seen in the video called Hello Darling. So I'm just using some of the fun papers from there. And so this is just going to go on like that. And this one is two and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I just stamped little thingies. Flowers. So let me just remove my tape. Ugh, what's in my tape? It's from my... Oops. Okay. I'm going to that up on here. Okay. I'm going to take this one off. And that is going to cover this part. Like that. Now, the inside, I'm just going to, this flap is, is a bit loose. So I'm just going to take a little dab of, you can use liquid glue. I've got this very narrow score tape. Little piece. I like when I use score tape to just use my uh, anti stick scissors. See, right up in here. off and stick them down so now you've got a pocket. Now the one that goes in that pocket is this one there and that is a base of three and a half by four and a quarter and this is the paper three and three eighths by four and an eight. Ah, I didn't now let's just use this. Nope. Oh. Covered all that up, but that's all right. That is going to fit in there, like that. Okay, oh, and of course, what happened? Oh. 
it goes a little bit on my fold line, but that's okay because you're, you don't see any of that. This is like totally a foolproof. Yeah, refolding it. Nothing. See? Look at that. That looks awesome. Let me take it out. There. Another reason why you don't use your score tool. Okay, so that can now fit there. Good. And now we want to do the this side here. Now this side will fit like this. Okay, so the background paper is three and a half by four and a half. And the uh, part where I'm going to write my sentiment, three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And just you know, stamped some birds from the set. Oh, and I covered up the birds, so I just did it on the other side. And that fits like that. Okay. And now the big pocket, which sticks out, but that's okay because it folds up nicely that way. And that one is going to be this. So seven, oh, what have I done? Oh, I'm going to have to do it this way because I shouldn't have put tape on the back. That's okay. It'll still work. Yeah, yeah, yeah it'll work great. Four and seven eighths by four and five eighths. And then this is the pretty background paper. Four and three quarters by four and a half. glue. Yeah. Okay, and so now this is going to fit. Oh, of course, the cat's coughing up a fur ball right now. Oh well. If you hear that, it's just the cat. He's fine. So that now fits into the pocket. Look how cute that looks. But I like, you now this is optional, but because it is a paper bag, it's a teeny bit on the flimsy side. I'm going to put another background paper on there, like that. More of a subtle pattern, like I did on the back of the Christmas one. And that is three and a half by four and a half. So 
my tape. Okay, I thought I was a bit more careful, but that's okay. There. So now, what I'm going to do is, you don't know, a lot of people make these, but they don't put the pictures in. So that gives you, because I have a, a little hint when it comes to putting the pictures in. Now, this one here, I'm going to put a picture of my daughter when she visited Santa. Okay. So, easy enough. Oh, did I not do okay. Hold on. I'm going to have to do this. So, this is a great card for putting in a couple of pictures. Oops. Uh, doing it too fast, and so I'm goobering this all up. But that's okay. So, this will fit right here. And that fits nicely in there. Oops. This one fall, fell out. Put it back. That's it. Looks on the back. Oops. Santa. Okay. Now I'm going to put a picture of myself and again my little cupcake right here. So we're just going to do that. Here's the hint. I put this in here. Okay. Okay, what do you see? You see, oh, my daughter's ear. How weird is that, right? But don't worry. This one's fine. I think seeing Santa on the front's okay. But seeing my daughter's little ear, not really aesthetically pleasing. But what you do is, you cover that with a little strip of uh, your background paper or any paper. I tried actually one of the uh, prints, but it looked too busy. And that will actually make it look quite nice. So I'm going to take it like this. Just going to go right over her little ear. She's going to leave a little space like that. My sister's going to cut the ends. And it added a nice element to the picture, as well as... See? Does that look nice? It's a teeny bit on the boring side. What am I going to do? Let me... I'm going to throw a brad in there. Oh, I'm not going to throw a brad in there because it's going to show through on the other side. No, skip the brad. So this is, okay, now throw it in there. There's actually room if you want to throw more, but this is how it looks. I'll get my envelope. This is going to make a lovely present for a friend of mine. So I hope you enjoyed the updated version of the paper bag card. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.